Hi friends, today I am starting YouTube channel Easy Maths by Ankul. First I am going to start polynomials lesson. Okay. First we will see definition. See polynomials, two terms are there. Polynomials. Poly means meaning, nomial means terms. So what is the meaning of polynomial? Many terms. So combination of terms are polynomials. Definition. Polynomials are algebraic expressions that are constructed using constants and variables. See, these algebraic expressions constructed using constants and variables. What are these constants and variables? See one example. 3x square minus 5x plus 7. Suppose this is a polynomial. Here, see, 3, 5, 7, these are constants. And x is variable. Okay. So, in this 1, 2, 3 terms are there. Okay. 1, 2, 3 terms. See, one more example. 2x to the power of 5 plus 20x cubed minus 16x square plus 19. 1, 2, 3, 4 terms are there here. Okay. This is also polynomial. Here, 220 minus 16, 19. These are constant numbers. And here also x is variable. So, there is no limit for number of terms. With one term, two terms, three terms, Whatever it may be, with the different terms, we can construct polynomials. Okay. So, if P of X is polynomial in X, the highest power of X in P of X is called the degree of the polynomial of P of X. Means, how to find the degree of the polynomial? In that, suppose three terms are there, five terms are there. Observe highest power in that okay variable where it is having. Suppose here only I will write. Suppose P of X is this polynomial. Okay. Here you see, x power is 1, here x power is 2, here 7 means 7, x to the power of 0, but we won't write this thing. Why? x to the power of 0 equal to 1, 7 into 1, 7 only. So, we don't write this x to the power of 0. Now, 3x square minus 5x plus 7 means highest power is 2. So, what is the degree of this one? 2 is degree of this polynomial. Okay. Now, suppose this is p of x. Here you see x power is 5, x power is 3, x power is 2, here x power is 0. Highest power is what? 5. So here it is 5th degree polynomial. Like that we will say degree of the polynomial. Now, depending upon the degree of the polynomial, these are classified into different categories. We will see that. Friends, suppose degree of the polynomial is 1. It means 1st degree polynomial. General form, ax plus b. Here condition a not equal to 0. Because if a equal to 0, this term will be vanish. Only b is there. So, ax plus b condition a not equal to 0 is the linear polynomial. It is first degree polynomial. I will write some examples. 7x plus 11. Okay. p minus 20. Here variable p. You can write any variable. Okay. Now only 3x. This also linear polynomial. Why? Here x variable, it is having degree only 1. Here p degree 1. Here x degree 1. Like that, linear polynomial means first degree. Now, quadratic polynomial. General form, ax square plus bx plus c. Here also condition a not equal to 0. Okay? Because ax square term here must and should. Okay? That's why quadratic polynomial means second degree polynomial. Okay? So, I will write examples. 3x square minus 5x plus 20. This is the linear polynomial. Sorry, this is the quadratic polynomial. That means second degree polynomial. Three terms are there. Now I will write quadratic polynomial with two terms. 6t square minus 45. See, degree 2. So it is also quadratic polynomial. Only two terms. Now I am writing example with one term only. Okay. 60x square. Here degree is 2. You see, quadratic polynomial means degree important. Okay. A value 60. Bx term is not there. So B equal to 0. C term is also not there. Constant. So C also 0. Like the quadratic polynomial means always observe whether degree is 2 or not. Highest power. Okay. Now cubic polynomial. Cubic means third degree polynomial. Here Ax cubed plus Bx square plus Cx plus D. It is general form. Here A, B, C, D constants. And condition applied. A not equal to 0. Highest power 3. 
I am writing some examples. 3x cubed minus 5x square plus 20x minus 1 by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. With the 4 terms, I have written here cubic polynomial. With the 2 terms also we can write. 16y square, y, y cube. 16y cube minus 45y. Only 2 terms are there. Y is variable. This is also cubic polynomial. Third degree, polynomial. Here degree is 1. Highest power, 3. Like that we have to see. Now, nth degree polynomial, general form, p of x equal to a0 x to the power of n plus a1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus a2 x to the power of n minus 2, like that so on, plus a n minus 1 x plus finally a n. Here a0, a1, a2, so on, a n, all these are real coefficients. x is variable. Condition apply, a0 not equal to 0. Okay, like this, in this, I explained about the degree, number of, de degree of, uh, depending upon degree, different types of polynomials. Now you will see, depending upon number of terms also, we can classify the polynomials. See friends, monomial first. Monomial means single term. See here, pi x, only one term. 12 by 57 by, I have taken here, a rational number, constant, okay? And y is variable. Here, 36 x square y z. This is also monomial because it is single term. But here, x, y, z are variables okay with the three variables also we can write the polynomial now binomial means two terms here 2x is one term 15 is another term only two terms it is binomial here x to the power of 100 plus y to the power of 100 this is one term this is the second term here in between these two terms plus symbol is there sometimes here you see in between these two terms minus symbol is there so terms are differentiated by plus symbol or minus symbol only okay here 1.5x square y minus 4xy square, first term and second term. This is also polynomial with variables x and y. Now trinomial. 1, 2, 3 terms are there. 2x plus 3y minus 6. Here also 1, 2, 3 terms are there. Okay. So trinomials. Now polynomial. 4 terms are more than 4 terms, then it is said to be polynomials. So somebody will get doubt. 4 terms are more than 4 terms means it is a polynomial. Then what about all these monomial, trinomial, binomial, whether they are polynomials or not? Actually, all these are polynomials. In the beginning, I told you, polynomial means combination of terms, sometimes single term also. We have given the special name for single term polynomial, that is monomial. Suppose if two terms are there, special name given as binomial. Bi means two, nomial means term, mono means single, nomial means term. Now tri means three, nomial means term, trinomial, three terms, like that we had given a special name. Okay, now I am going to tell one more thing here. See, this is the polynomial 1, 2, 3, 4 terms are there. Highest degree 3, so it is cubic polynomial. And I am going to explain about coefficients also. See, coefficients means here variable x. Suppose first term is x cubed. What is the multiple of x cubed? Here 1 x cubed. So x cubed coefficient is 1. Here x square coefficient minus 14. x coefficient. 12, including symbol you have to tell. Here constant term is minus 7. Now you see here, this is 5th degree polynomial. Highest power of variable x is 5. So it is 5th degree polynomial. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms are there. So 4 or more than 4, we will say it is polynomial. Now, coefficient of x to the 5, 1. Coefficient of x to the 4 is minus 3. Coefficient of x square is 11. Coefficient of x is minus 45. Constant term is 6. So sometimes they will give any polynomial and they can ask questions like this. How many terms are there in this polynomial? So you have to tell 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. What is the degree of x cubed in this? See, is there any x cubed term here? x to of 0, x to of 1, x to square, x to of 4, x to of 5. But x cubed term is not there. So simply you have to tell 0 times x cubed. So coefficient of x cubed is 0 here. Okay. Now what is coefficient of x? minus 45. What is constant term in this? That is 6. Okay. Now suppose they will do this. What type of polynomial it is? Monomial because it is single term. What are the variables in this polynomial? x, y, z. And you see degree of this polynomial. Here x, y, z. Three are variables. x power is 2, y power is 1, z power is 1. You have to add all these powers. 2 plus 1 plus 1. That means 4. So, what is the degree of this polynomial means? 4. You have to say like that. Here, 2x 
x plus 3 by minus 6. Here, what is the degree of this polynomial? x power is 1, y power is 1. Here, highest power is 1 only. Okay. So, degree of this polynomial is 1. Okay. Now, here, degree is 2. Highest power, 2. What is coefficient of t square in this? 4. What is coefficient of t here? Minus 20. What is constant term here? 15. So, how many terms are there? 3 terms. 3 terms means trinomial. Okay. Like this, they can ask the questions. Right. If you like my channel, you can subscribe and also you share your comments. You can ask the doubts in comment box. I will give the reply also. Okay.